Have you recently switched your rabbits from a water bottle to an automatic watering system with nipples on it and they just can't quite figure out how to drink out of it? I'm going to show you how to fix that problem in today's video, so stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Rednecked video. Again, my name is Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. Now, if you're like me, when I first switched my rabbits off of a water bottle with bottle, excuse me, with the regular little ball valve in it to a nipple system, like my automatic watering system here, they just had a really hard time figuring out how to use it. Now, I don't have any rabbits right now that don't know how to use it. I'm going to show you how I fixed that problem real quick. Let me bring you in close to the water system so we can see exactly how it works. All right, so you're probably already familiar with this, but just in case you're not, this is the uh, nipple and what happens when they bite down on that. Hopefully, you can see that the water comes out and it just kind of drips out. It doesn't come out incredibly fast. I'm not sure if the drips are showing up on camera or not, but uh, that's how the system works. And the idea is the rabbits come up and bite on that and that lets the water out of the valve. So whenever they bite down on it, water comes out and you can see it probably dripping all over my hands. Well, it's pretty easy if you push this down while it's inside the cage and that, wa that rabbit's been out without water for a little while, they'll come and lick the water off that valve, but they won't always bite down on it. So they don't always figure out that's where the water comes from. They'll come up and try to lick it like they do water bottles, but nothing comes out. So they don't, they don't continue to lick on that. So here's what I've done. So imagine this being inside the rabbit cage, like so, just like it normally would be. I'll reach in there and I'll push that valve, get them to come up and lick that. And do that several times until they get, they get used to that pretty quick. And they see you push that valve, they come up and they lick the water off of that. Then once they're used to that, see if I can show this on film. So what I'm going to do is push that valve down to let water out, but I'm going to pull the, uh, the valve or the, the nipple out of the cage to where it's just barely sticking through the cage. So what that means is the rabbit can't quite reach that to lick the water off of it. Just the tip of the valve is through the cage and they'll bite onto that and try to pull it into the cage in order to get, get to the water that's on the end of that. So when they bite and pull on it, water comes out of the valve and they figure out that's where the water is coming from and that's how to use it. Now like I said, none of my rabbits are having this problem now. They all know how to drink out of this, but that's exactly how I fixed it. Again, one more time. It's hooked up just like it normally would be. I push the valve and I do this several times so they get used to it. They see me push the valve, they come up and they lick off of it. Then I take the valve off and I stick it, and I imagine that's not showing up very well on camera, but I stick it just at the edge of the cage there, hold it there with my hand, push that valve down so where there's some water on it, but they can't quite get to it to lick it, so they bite onto it to pull it into the cage, and then they figure out that's where the water's coming from and that's how to get the water out of it. Well, so hopefully that, that kind of makes sense. I've tried many different techniques. I've tried rubbing um, you know, apples or strawberries or banana on the water valve, and it didn't work. They didn't quite figure out biting onto that gives them the water. It just, it just didn't work out that way. So the best thing is just wait till they're thirsty and try that trick right there. Worked like a champ. For every rabbit I've ever had that's had a problem drinking out of a nipple, that has fixed the problem for me almost immediately. Now, I know that wasn't really easy to see on camera, but hopefully it kind of makes sense to you. It's a pretty simple process. I think you can probably figure that out. But leave me a comment below. Let me know. Do you have a different technique that's worked well for you, or have you done something different to teach your rabbits how to drink out of the nipple system? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're brand new to it, hit that subscribe button down there to stay updated with my content. Leave me a comment and let me know what you'd like to see addressed in future videos. And as always, God bless.